Welcome to this yoga class. My name is Natalie. I will lead you through a 45 minutes vinyasa yoga class. This class is suited for all levels. You can also adjust any pose. All my poses are suggestions. Please feel free to adjust any of them according to your own needs. Let's start. Come and sit on your mat. You can also sit on a block or a cushion. Sit up nice and tall. Relax your legs. Relax your shoulders. Close your eyes. And focus on your breath. Notice how the air goes through your nose through your throat, filling your lungs. And also how it goes out the same way. Notice the sensations in your body when you breathe. Can you feel your chest? Move when you breathe. And can you feel your belly move when you breathe? And can you feel your lower back move when you breathe? Your body expands in all directions of your inhalation, front, side, back. And it comes back to center when you exhale. Make your breath nice and deep and a bit longer. Make sure you breathe in and out through the nose. And if you're familiar with the Jai breath, you can practice now. If you're new to yoga, you've not heard of Ujjayi breath yet. Focus on breathing in and out through the nose during the whole class. It's time to lift your pelvic floor muscles and pull in your lower abdominals. In yoga philosophy, we call them Mula Bandha and Puriyana Bandha. They help to contain your energy inside your body and protect your lower back in some of the poses. It's a gentle squeeze of these muscles. So don't tighten them a lot, just a gentle squeeze of lifting your pelvic floor and pulling in your lower abdominals. Then set an intention for yourself, something you would like to focus on during today's class. The theme of today's class will be the shoulders. We will be doing a lot of poses for the shoulders, opening them up and strengthening them. Now, if you're sitting on something, gently put it, put it to the side, open your eyes, relax your hands in your lap and start to make circles with your shoulders, nice big circles all the way up to the ears and all the way down as much as you can and then the other side from the back to the front and then let's do it with our hands on the shoulders elbows together to the front and then make 
the circle as big as possible with your elbows touching each other in the front and then the other side try to connect the movement to your breath inhaling as you go up with the elbows exhaling when you go down then lift your right arm on the inhalation and exhale, bend to the side. Inhale, come up halfway and exhale, stretch the side of your body. One more time, keep your sitting bones on the floor when you do this. And let's go to the other side. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, extend your side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Come sit up straight, interlace your fingers behind your back. If you can't reach them, grab your elbows. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders back and down. And exhale, release. Relax your shoulders one more time. Inhale, chest forward, shoulders back. And exhale, relax your shoulders. And place your hands behind you and you can choose you can either only open up the chest like this or if possible you can lift your hips up from the side so two options either only opening up the chest or also lifting the hips three breaths one two and three slowly come down and transfer to all fours hands on the shoulders knees under your hips now bring one arm underneath and then from here bring it back up and stretch it out let this be the inhalation and then exhale go down two more inhale and exhale Inhale and exhale. Let's go to the other side. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And then come back to center. Now slide the hands forward and let the head come towards the floor. Or if you can go further, you have to lift or turn your head so your chest can come closer to the floor. Make sure you're tightening your mula and uddiyana bandha, your pelvic floor muscles and lower abdominals. So you bring the stretch in the upper back. Don't hang in the lower back, stretch the upper back. Two more breaths. One and two. Come back, bring your hands back under your shoulders, and then on your inhalation, open the chest, lift your tailbone, and exhale, push out your spine towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale, inhale. Exhale, and then wag your tail as if you're a dog. And then from here, come in child's pose. Bring your big toes together, your hips towards the heels, and stretch out your arms. If possible, relax your forehead on the ground. Otherwise, it can be in the air as well. Now, really focus on your breath. Come back to your deep ujjayi breath or focusing on breathing in and out through the nose. And then really expand your ribcage on your inhalation. Feel the ribs pressing against the legs. And notice how the ribcage comes back to center on your exhalation. And again.
and then come back on hands and knees. Tuck your toes under, hip, hip to heels and come in downward facing dog. Focus on lengthening your arms and your spine, sitting bones up. The knees can stay a bit bent, they don't have to go all the way straight. Let's walk in place, so bringing the heels down one by one. You can do this as slowly as you like. And then you leave the legs where they are. Then let's focus on the shoulders. So gently round your shoulders, it's a tiny movement. And then bring your chest towards your big toe. So a small movement in your chest and shoulder area. So let's make an inhale, round your shoulders. And exhale, bring your chest towards your big toes. Two more. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. And slowly walk your feet forward. And then on your inhalation, lengthen the spine, your chest up halfway. You can also place your hands on shins. And exhale, fold forward. You can bend your knees so it's easier to fold. Three times. Inhale, lengthen the spine, stretch out the legs. Exhale, fold. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now press the feet down in the floor. Lift your pelvic floor. Slowly come up. Bring your arms up. And exhale. Bring your arms down. Let's do some salutations or a variation. Inhale. Bring your arms up. Exhale. Slowly bow forward. Keep your spine long. Inhale. Lift your chest halfway. Look up. Exhale, jump or step the feet back. The easiest option is going through the knees onto your belly. And then inhale, this is cobra, lifting the chest, rolling the shoulders to the heels. You can also do up dog, which I'll show later. And exhale, push through the hands, elbows by your side, back into downward facing dog for five breaths. One. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart, feet hip distance apart. Two. Three. Keep stretching out your arms, sitting bones up in the sky, chest towards your big toes. Four. And five. Look towards your hands, jump or step forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up. And exhale, bring your arms by your side. We do this again. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale into Chaturanga Nandasana if you can. Inhale, upward dog, open the chest and exhale, lift through the navel from your core muscles and pushing through the hands. Downward dog for five, one. Two. Three. Four, and five. Look towards your hands, jump or step forward. Inhale, lift your chest halfway, look up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, come all the way up, lengthening through your fingertips. And exhale, bring your arms down. Now let's Interlace the fingers behind our back and bring your arms like this. If that's not possible, you can do it with grabbing your elbows behind you. So if possible, interlace your fingers, lift your chest, shoulders backwards, inhale, 
and exhale, fold forward. Bend your knees so it's easier to fold. Now on your inhalation, straighten the legs, lift your chest halfway, lengthen the spine, and exhale, fold forward, ground towards the floor three times. Inhale, exhale. your feet down, lifting your pelvic floor and standing up. Do a nice shoulder roll to release any tension in the shoulders. Now we're going to do a balancing pose. I'll be your mirror image. So bring your right knee up and then open it up to the side. Hold it with that hand. If you can, don't place your left hand on your hip, but open it up to the other side and if possible, look towards your hand. If you start to wobble too much, you can also look forward. So make sure you're stretching out in opposite directions. So the foot onto the floor, but also lifting upwards through your crown. Keep your navel pointing forward and it's a hip opener. So your right hip opens to the left, but the left hip stays where it is and you're stretching yourself out through your hand, and then slowly come back to center and go to the other side. So start in a straight line, lengthening in both directions. And then from the center line, open up the body, knee to one side, arm to the other. If possible, look all the way to the side. Three breaths, one, two, and three, come back to center and the other side. Now you can either do this one again or come with me into the next pose. Bring your right knee up. Now you're gonna grab it with the opposite arm and then from a long tall spine, you're gonna stretch to the right. Three breaths here, one, Two and three. Inhale, come to center. Exhale, other side. Bring the knee up, lengthen upwards, push your foot down into the floor, and don't move the hips but rotate the upper body. Three breaths. One, two, and three, come to the center and bring your feet together. Now from the front of your mat, step your left foot back and open up to the side. I'll show you from this side so we can see each other. From here, let's come into warrior B. So your shoulders are above the hips. Your right toes are facing to the short side of the mat and your left foot can be parallel with the short side of the mat or it can turn a little bit in. Feel what works for you. Lower the shoulders, gaze over your right fingertips and work with your hand palms. Inhale, bring them up. Exhale, bring them down. And again, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and then stay here. And then from here, we're gonna move the upper body. We're gonna go to the right in the inhalation and exhale, come back up. Keep your legs strong as if you're ripping your mud apart. And the upper body is fluid like your breath. One more, inhale, and exhale. Now let's straighten the legs. <coughs> I like to do this with my legs a bit closer together. And then come into your Utita Trikonasana pose, your triangle pose. 
but bring your left arm behind you. We're going to dip the shoulder. So when you exhale, the chest goes to the floor, shoulder dips down, and then inhale, open the chest and roll the shoulder back three times. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and inhale. And on your exhalation, bend the right knee, slowly come up and release your arm. Slowly come to the other side, right toes in, left toes out, into your warrior B. Lift your pelvic floor, lower the shoulders, left knee over your ankle as much as possible. This is a bit cheating, but if your legs are tired, it's fine. And now gaze over your left fingertips. Inhale, bring your hand palms up. Exhale, bring them down. Three more. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now move to the side. Inhale, left hand towards the floor, right arm up and exhale coming back up if that's too far you can also bring your elbow and your knee go into this pose and exhale come up two more inhale exhale inhale and exhale now straighten both legs if you like to step closer like I'm doing, that's totally fine. And bring your upper body over your left leg. So don't let it be here, but over the left leg. Relax your arm behind you and bring your shoulder to the floor, chest towards the floor. Inhale, open. Exhale, roll down. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, one more, inhale, and exhale, inhale, open the chest, bend your left knee and slowly come back through warrior B and step your feet together. Now open up to the long side of your mat and bring your legs in a big wide step. If you stretch your arms like this, your wrists should be above your ankles. That's the rule of thumb and it's a good wide step for you. Now interlace your fingers behind your back. If not possible, you can also grab your elbows, otherwise interlace your fingers. Bring your chest up and then exhale, bow forward. And just like we did in the beginning with our legs together, inhale, straighten the legs, lift your chest. And then exhale, bend your knees and fold forward three times. Inhale, straighten your legs, straighten your spine. Exhale, bend the knees, fold forward. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And as we are here, slowly straighten the legs and stay in this pose for five breaths. The hips in line with the heels. The weight evenly divided over both feet and also over the back and the front of the feet. So not only the weight on your heels, also on the balls of the feet. Three more breaths. One. Two. And three. Press the feet down in the floor, lift your pelvic floor. Slowly come up. 
and exhale, release the arms. Do a nice shoulder roll. And step your feet together in front of the mat. We'll go towards seated poses through a vinyasa. Inhale, bring your arms up. Exhale, slowly fold. Inhale, lift your chest, look up. Exhale, jump to step the feet back into Chaturanga. Inhale, lift your chest. Exhale, downward facing dog for three breaths. You can also come into child's pose to have more rest. One, two, and three. Now come on the knees and look at the instructions. We're gonna do dolphin, which is on your underarms. And then I like to interlace my fingers. And then from here, you're gonna come back into your downward dog. And then on your exhalation, you're gonna lower the hips so the shoulders are over in front of your elbows and then you're gonna lift them. If this is not possible for you, you could either stay in a downward dog like this. So you strengthen your arms, your shoulders, and make them flexible. Or you could do a stretch to which we're gonna come later. So option. If you can, do the dolphin with me. Exhale, hips down. Inhale, hips up. Exhale, inhale, three more, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, last one, exhale, and inhale, everybody come on your knees, stretch out your arms, and do a nice opener for your shoulders bringing your chest towards the floor or maybe your forehead wherever you are in this pose really stretch out through your fingertips make sure the hips are above the knees you're tightening your pelvic floor and your lower abdominals and every time you exhale, release any tension you might feel in the upper back. Two more breaths. One. And two. Slowly come up. And then choose your favorite side. I'm going to start with left today. And bring that arm underneath with your hand palm facing up. And then resting yourself on your shoulder. Maybe you want to rotate your head towards the back of it and find a nice stretch in the diagonal line from your left shoulder over your back down. Three breaths. One. Two. And three. Slowly come to the other side. Then palm facing up, arm underneath, three breaths. One, two, and three. And then slowly come up, sit like this to prepare for the next pose. If you can interlace your fingers behind your back, otherwise you can grab your elbows again. And now you're gonna gently rest on the crown of your head. So not on your forehead, really on top of your head. Your hips are above the knees and your neck should be in a vertical line. You can also make soft padding underneath your head, maybe a blanket. Or fold your mouth double so it's nice and gentle for the head. One more breath here. And then very slowly come sit up and stay here for a nice breath. 
then come to lie on your belly. If you can't lie on your belly, you could also do some of these stretches on hands and knees. Let's start with Cobra. Bringing the elbows underneath your shoulders or a little bit further. Actually, let's do Sphinx. <laughs> I'm changing it up as we go. Opening the chest forwards, roll the shoulders down towards the heels. And let's stay here for three breaths. One. Two. And three. Rest it out on your belly. Now this time, lie down and interlace your fingers behind your back if that's possible. Otherwise, you can rest them on the floor. And then inhale, bring your chest up. Or if you have your fingers interlaced like this, push the pubic bone down in the floor. Open your chest, shoulders towards the back, towards your heels. Three breaths, one. Two, and three. Then come lie on your belly with your arms to the sides. We're gonna do a shoulder stretch. We're gonna roll on the side of our body. I'm gonna roll on my left side first. So my left hand is with the palm of my hand on the floor. And I'm gonna roll on my left side. And I'm gonna to touch the floor with my right foot I'm pushing a little bit through my right hand you can rest your head on the floor here or keep it up it's both good feel the stretch in your left shoulder and let's say for three breaths one two and three slowly roll back and we go to the other side, stretching out your arm, rolling on your side. If you're very flexible, you might like it to try and bring your arms like it is. I'm gonna do it like this today. Three breaths, one, two, and three. Roll back on your belly and come into child's pose. Knees a little bit wider than your hips, big toes touching, and stretch out your arms in front of you. Three really deep and nice breaths here, focusing on expanding the ribcage on your inhalation and letting it come back to center on your exhalation. One, two, and three. Bring your arms by your side, slowly roll up. And then again, roll down with a nice, flexible spine, as if it's spaghetti, with a round back rolling up with the arch back rolling down. One more time. And then slowly come and lie on your back. Let's continue with a nice rotation of the body. Bring your arms to the sides, knees to your chest, then bring the knees all the way to the left and then breathe into your right chest and shoulder. Feel the rotation in your lower back and release any tension you feel there. When you exhale, three breaths here. One. Two. And three, bring the knees back and then go to the other side. One, two, and three. 
bring the knees back to center. Now let's bring the left foot to the floor and straighten the right leg. Bring your toes towards you, so stretch it out through the heel and then pull it towards you until you feel, oh, I would like to bend my knee, but then you're not gonna do it. You're gonna keep your leg straight. Let's keep it there, straighten the other leg. And let's stay here for five breaths. One. Two. And three. Bend the leg, foot on the floor. And let's go to the other side. So straighten the leg. It might also be here, which is totally fine wherever you are and to the point where you can just keep the leg straight stretching up through the heel then straighten the other leg and let's stay here for five breaths one shoulder blades on the floor head relaxed two three four and five bend the leg and then come into your final position shavasana for the deep relaxation you can do this lying down you can also do it sitting i'll do the beginning part with you lying down and then i will sit up to read a story but you can remain lying down for this if you're not comfortable with your eyes closed, you can actually keep them open and stare to a point on your ceiling. Otherwise, close your eyes. Really relax your body. If you're lying down, let the feet be a little bit wider than the hips. Let the legs relax. Bring your arms away from your body. And palms facing up. Relax into the floor. Roll your head from one side to the other. Back to center, chin up chest. And then lie down so your shoulders and neck muscles are relaxed. Let the body relax more and more. And let the body take over your breath. Relax your tongue in the back of your throat. Relax your eyes and eyelids. And now that your whole body is relaxed, relax your mind. aim is for the mind to become empty. Practice being in the now by first focusing on your breath, making sure you're aware of being here, breathing, without changing anything, just observing. As you do that more and more often, you find your mind will be empty for a while until a thought or emotion arises. And the only thing you have to do is take notice, acknowledge the thought or feeling, and bring your attention back to your breath, back to being awake, being present. Continue this practice of mindfulness for the next minute and then my voice will return.
Let's understand the concept of enough. Good enough. Successful enough. Thin enough. Rich enough. Socially responsible enough. When you have self-respect, you have enough. Enough is a wonderful mindfulness concept, one we can all call on as a mantra in every moment of annoyance, dissatisfaction, and even boredom. If I'm stuck in traffic and I feel my blood pressure building, I can remind myself that there is enough time to do what really needs to be done that day. When I've invited friends over and am fretting in the moments before their arrival about the stain on the carpet or my old couch, I can remind myself that my home is enough. In this moment, I am enough. In this moment, you are enough. As long as we have shelter and food, and people who care about us, we have enough. Enough with mindless worries, enough is enough. Now think to yourself, in this moment, I am enough, as are you. Then gently become aware of the room where you are. Become aware of your body. Wiggle your fingers and your toes. Stretch your arms and your legs, pretending you're waking up in your bed. And bring your knees to your chest. And roll to one side of your body. Take a moment to wake up. Then slowly push yourself up to sit. So we can end the class together with a bow. Bring your hands in front of your heart, close your eyes one more time. And first think of your intention from the beginning of the class. Did you succeed? Then think of the story about being enough. Feel that you are enough. Feel that you can feel good when you think that. And then bow forward, feeling good. And slowly come up again. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the class. Have a nice rest of your day. And hopefully see you next time. Bye.